How do you cure a country ham that is the grand champion country ham at the Kentucky State Fair and then goes on to be sold at auction for $400,000? Well, let's ask the folks at Father's Country Hams of Bremen, Kentucky. The farm actually started in our family in 1840. Uh, my great-great-grandparents uh, used to actually cure country ham on the farm and then my granddad, uh, we had four farms at one time and we farmed and they did the country hams as a business, actually started in 1959, but they always sold country hams and entertained family and friends with things out of the smokehouse, smoked sausage, country ham and bacon all the way back to the 1840s, and we still do everything kind of the old-fashioned way. We make our own cure. We use salt, we use brown sugar. My dad always thought that the brown sugar added flavor to the ham instead of just using plain sugar. But when the hams first come in, we rub them by hand one time after we've made our cure, and then they stay in a refrigerated room at 39 degrees for about 10 days we re-rub them a second application. Uh, after the second application, the total time in that uh, refrigerated room is about five to six weeks. From that time, we move them into another room. We call it our equalization room. And it's at 55 degrees temperature. And we, they stay in there about two months. We do most of our curing from November till about March and we don't like to sell anything until it's at least eight months of age. So after the equalization room, uh, we smoke the hams and then we let them age at ambient temperature. So if it's 100 degrees outside, uh, it doesn't really upset us. We've got fans circulating. It just makes the ham have more shrinkage and our hams will shrink about 28 to 30 percent. And that's water that's just lost out of the meat itself. It's no water added in any of our products, even the bacon water is actually removed and that's what makes a country ham shelf stable. We feel like after a year they start kind of going downhill. They start drying out, getting harder and really they need to be used within a year to a year and a half of age at maximum. very fortunate this year to win uh, the Kentucky State Fair Grand Champion and every year Kentucky Farm Bureau pays uh, a huge part of promoting Kentucky products throughout the year but also at the Kentucky State Fair they have an annual Farm Bureau breakfast and it sells out every year so if you want tickets next year now's the time to be thinking about it but uh, they have a breakfast and at that breakfast they auction off the Grand Champion ham and this year our ham bought $400,000 and all that went to charity, which all together, uh, Kentucky Farm Bureau with the Kentucky Fair Board has been able to uh, get a total of $9 million that has been given to charity, counting the money that was brought in this year, which is just totally outstanding for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And we give Kentucky Farm Bureau credit for promoting this and having the breakfast every year. Well, that's it for this week's Kentucky Farm Bureau's Bluegrass and Backroads. If you want information on anything you saw today, visit our website at bluegrassandbackroads.com. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. God bless.